I want to go now to someone who's going to be in the room asking questions on that public testimony for all of us to see. Democratic Congressman Harley Root of California, member of the House Oversight Committee. And Congressman, I appreciate your time. So you heard Evan, right? We understand Cohen was with his attorneys on Capitol Hill today. Do you know why they needed to be, be there and in that room where, where you go to see classified information? I would imagine, based on the fact he's going to have several days of testimony, as you mentioned, some behind closed doors, that they're laying at down some of the ground rules, some of the expectations, and some of what uh, we might expect to hear from his testimony. Um, you know, as, as we were, were saying, you know, he obviously is, his being there today suggests that perhaps he needed to review documents that he could only view there, right, in that classified room. That could be anything, of course, but that would include transcripts from his prior appearance. Um, do you think that's possible, that they were doing that, or concerned about possible perjury, looking at old transcripts, or it's unclear? I think it's a combination of all of the above. We want to make sure that Michael Cohen is prepared for his testimony, mm -hmm. and while we are uh, thrilled that he's contrite, he's contrite because he got caught. And we have some tough questions for him. We need to understand uh, what's going on in the Trump administration as well as the Trump organization regarding multiple areas, whether it's campaign finance laws, whether it's paying off uh, individuals with hush money, uh, what's going on in the hotel, the number of Russians who have paid cash for condos uh, across the world in his projects. We have a lot of questions. We want a lot of answers. So Cohen has reportedly said that what we're all going to hear in this public testimony in that room where you'll be, uh, it, 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 what he's going to do is, is, quote, give you chills. That's how we're going to feel when we learn what Michael Cohen has to say about Donald Trump. Do you think that'll be the case? I definitely think there's a possibility of it. And you couple that with Mueller's report hopefully coming out in the very near future. The amount of, of breadth and depth of that investigation and the testimony that Michael Cohen will be providing, uh, I think there is a possibility that, yes, we're going to see uh, some activity and behavior that's clearly unbecoming of the President of the United States of America. Do you think we'll learn anything that could threaten the presidency? Let's see what the evidence says. I think more importantly than that, I am hopeful that my colleagues both in the Democratic caucus and the Republican caucus stand up to our constitutional obligations under Article 1. And if there's actionable items against this president, that we hold him accountable for his conduct. Now, Congressman, we, you mentioned Mueller's uh, investigation, right? We're expecting it to be formally done any day, right? I mean, it could even be tomorrow. You know, so when you say... Uh, the report. How, how soon do you think we'll see a report? Sounds like you believe we will see one, but it won't be a fight uh, after Mueller announces it's done. Well, we have this continuing question as to what the Attorney General is going to release or not release. I am hopeful that the entire report, subject to national security implications as determined by Congress, is released to the public for our full review. Uh, that's democracy. That's what the citizens of the United States deserve, and I'm, I'm very hopeful that the Attorney General will do his job in this area. You know, some say there's going to be enough in there to warrant impeachment proceedings, even if there's nothing, that, even if there's nothing criminally indictable, right? But that there would be enough to warrant impeachment, which is a political process. Do you think that's likely? Is that what you expect? Well, I think many would say there's enough offenses right now or evidence of offenses that we have impeachable uh, information right now. But I think in any qualified prosecution, you want to get through uh, the full investigative analysis, and that is what Mueller's report does. There's no reason to take action until you have all of the facts. That report will provide us with a, a clear understanding of all of the facts, and then whatever action needs to be taken will be taken. Congressman Ruta, thanks for your time. Thank you. And next, Roger Stone's